I'm going to present a lesson on how to find the area of a rectangle. The first thing we need to do is we need to understand how we use a square to measure a surface. So what is the unit of measurement that we need to use for this? I've got a unit of measurement right here that I'm going to use and we're just going to measure the length and the width of this rectangle. I've got a little thing here to help me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our length is going to be ten units. Now we can measure our width. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have 10 units in our length and we have four units in our width. Okay, so we need to figure out now how do we measure this rectangle now that we know we have 10 on the length and four units on the width. Let's extend out our four units and see what we come up with. This is our four units extended out. It gives us four long sections there which really doesn't help us just by itself. Now, how about our length units? What if we extended those out? We get this, right? We get 10 long sections, which really doesn't help us out either, okay? So, we take these, the, the best thing that we can do is extend both out at the same time. When we extend both those out the same time, we get this, which is a bunch of squares, right? Square units. So uh, we need to make, we need to measure the whole surface, not just lengthwise of the surface, not just widthwise of the surface, but the entire surface. In order to do that, we extend out each unit and we get all these squares. And it gives us our answer. We measure the surface of a rectangle through square units. Now, we had said that we have 10 units here. We have four units here along this width here and 10 units here along this length. We know that 10 taken four times, or 10 times four, is 40. So the short answer to this is 10 units multiplied by 40 units is 40 square units, okay? Let's use labels to understand this a little bit better. As you can see, I've got my labels here to represent what we just talked about, 10 units along the side and four units up on this rectangle. We're gonna make an equation from this. We know that 10 as the base and four as the height multiplied together will give us 40 square units, okay? That's what we had just done is 10 times 4 is 40 square units. Um, the 10 is going to be called the base. The 4 and the width is going to be called the height. And our total surface area is simply called area. Okay? So, going off that information, let's change this to where it matches up there, base times height equals area. So that is an equation right there. Uh, we have an equation of base, which is 10, times height, which is 4, equals area, which is 40 square units. And that's how you do that one right there, okay? Now, I'm going to take these off here. I'm 
go back here. So we have found out that the base of 10 multiplied by the height of 4 will give us 40 square units. What if this rectangle was flipped this way to where our base is 4 and our height is 10? What would our surface area be? Well, the way we can find that out is do the exact same thing. Uh, base times height equals area. So base being 4, height being 10 equals area, 40 square units. So we come up with the same surface area. So whether the rectangle is turned like this or like this, we come up with the same surface area. It's important to know that. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a formula here from this area equals base times height. So this is the formula that we will use um, whenever we are, whenever you're going through your worksheet that I gave you on finding the area of a rectangle. You will use the area that you're looking for is the base number, the base number of units times the height number of units, and the area will be in square units. Okay. So some of them may be centimeters, some of them may be inches. Uh, the area is going to be square centimeters, or centimeters square, or inches square. Okay? One more thing I want to go through, and that is going to be something that's a little bit different from what we've been doing. Okay, so what if we have... What if we are looking for our height... Let me switch this around. <laughs> there we go. What if we know our base, we know our height, we know our base, we don't know our height, but we know the total area, okay? What if we set up a different equation where we're looking for the height? It's going to use the same formula, but it's going to be set up a little bit differently, okay? What we would have then is height equals area divided by base. And that right there would give us our answer, okay? So if we know that our height is 40 square units, oh, I messed up on that one. <laughs> Excuse me. Our height is the thing that we don't know. Our area is going to be 40 square units, and our base is going to be 10 units, okay? So here is our equation that we must solve to find the height. 40 divided by 10 is 4. So that is how we find out a missing height, or it could also work for the base. If you know the total area and you're missing either your height or your base, you can create an equation for this by dividing. And that's and that's how that's how you deal with rectangles. That is how you find the area of a rectangle. Base times height equals area. So, I'd be happy to help if you need some more help with this. Uh, just let me know. Reach out to me on Microsoft Teams. The, there are worksheets. Well, there's one worksheet for fourth grade and one wor worksheet for fifth grade. So you will have one worksheet to do on rectangles. My next video will be on how to find the area of a parallelogram. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.